Hey, this is Dr. Corey Lynn, and I'm going to show you a quick tip here that I think will really help you on repairing some models. Uh, what I was about to do is make an immediate denture using this model, and I've got a few errors that I just didn't notice that I didn't scan correctly. One is up here on the very important uh, retromolar pad area, and the other being down here right at my border. And so, you know, we could come in here and just, you know, cut these out and uh, get rid of the jagged areas like so but i don't really want to do that because i'm losing data and i want to be able to make my extension go all the way to these areas so let's undo that um, so what i'm going to show you is the bridging tool so here's what we'll do with this is that you get the select tool get a really small spot size like so and look at your areas that you want to bridge and just come in and select a boundary of them and right here and then just go to edit and bridge and as you see as the name would imply it will bridge those areas okay just to show you again select um, let's go down here in the depth of the vestibule and let's bridge and accept and now the reason that's so helpful is because now I can go to the analysis inspector and I can repair uh, these holes that I've got and you know is it a perfect uh, repair no but you could also come in here with your sculpt tools and repair that uh, to whatever degree you wanted to do it uh, something like your inflate tool and stretch that down a little bit and then you could smooth it if you so choose but bottom line, we've been able to maintain our vestibular extension here and repair a little um, defect in the mesh. And this is really important because if you try to make a solid model out of a model like this that's missing uh, an important part like that, you're going to end up with a really jagged boundary. It's going to cause you nothing but problems. Uh, so let me show you one more area. Let's do it over here on this model. And what I'll do is just bridge from right here to right here edit bridge okay and that's great because now it's got a continuous boundary around it and I can run the inspector and just repair that small spot okay if I wanted to uh, complete out this retromolar pad area I could go from here to here let's bridge that except let's do even another back here so you get the point though once you've got a continuous boundary around it it's really easy to repair those um, and just you know fill in your mesh and again it you are making up mesh this is not true to form in the mouth but especially in the case of like a denture where you're just trying to make the job of closing your models easier this is a really really beneficial tip uh, that'll make your life a lot easier.